Big news coming out of Florida. Pastor Stovall Weems has stepped down all positions with Celebration Church, Jacksonville, Florida. What happened? How did it get to this point? We're going to get into all those details and much more, so stick with me, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. I also invite you guys really quick, if you're able to make a generous donation here to the ministry to help support my content, make an end-time Bible prophecy headlines, you can click my PayPal link in the description, or you can sign up on my Patreon, five bucks a month when you do that. You'll get alerted for all the new content that I produce because YT barely pushes notifications out anymore. You can also comment there, 100% censorship-free, send me direct messages. Don't forget, also give me a sub on Rumble. These videos will go on that platform as well. Plus, it serves as a backup in case I get the boot off YT. So you might want to get in the habit of checking that out from time to time. All the links down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing. And those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. Let's talk about this here. Pastor Stovall Weems, there has been a power struggle, to say the least, within Celebration Church for quite a little bit of time now. And a lawsuit is going on now between the two sides. This is an ugly situation. Go all the way back to 1998. This is when Pastor Stovall and his wife Carrie had first founded the church. It has now grown to over 12,000 members. Just an insane amount of people. Um, a real flagship there in Jacksonville. And there has now been this power struggle where... Pastor Stovall said that he was unfairly ousted, basically, from his position as lead pastor. Now, we have to go back a couple of months because a lawsuit was first filed back in February. Now, at the time, you got to know here that Celebration Church had already brought in a new pastor by the name of Tim Timberlake. And, you know, I invite anybody, if you are a member of Celebration, uh, you are more uh, then uh, welcome to leave some comments down below and let us know you know, what you've been experiencing throughout this time. So for Pastor Stovall, he has been kind of on the outs here for a little bit as it is. Now, in his lawsuit, he is claiming that he was unfairly, as I mentioned, ousted by the Board of Trustees because he was looking into a member there on the board who was, well, mismanaging finances. But what's funny about this is that on the other side of it, they're saying this is the exact reason why they ousted Pastor Stovall. And while this is all going on, you had Pastor Tim Timberlake who said that, oh, he wasn't going to be going anywhere despite everything that was going on uh, with the Weems family and all that. So he still remains. But both sides now kind of coming at each other saying financial abuse here. Now, according to Stovall, then this was something that he released um, on April 18th, on Monday, he went on Instagram and he announced that he is stepping down because he still had all his titles. I mean, he had all his other positions other than just senior pastor. But he said in a statement on Instagram that he was stepping down from all positions, that he said he could no longer continue on uh, as a member here and as a part of celebration with everything that has been going on. And as hard as that is to do, that he was gonna be splitting off. He needed a complete disconnect, but he did say that he will be continuing on with this lawsuit because again, he said this was unlawful, what the board did for him, basically illegal, the way that they ousted him off here, him and his wife, Carrie. He said they thanked everybody for all of their support throughout the years, and they want people to know that they're not going anywhere. In fact, they intend to stay in Jacksonville and continue on with pastoring and doing other forms of ministry. Now, we don't know what that is yet, although he did say that stay tuned in the coming days, in the coming weeks, they'll have more information about what it is that they will be taking on as far as new projects go. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But if you look at what the board is saying, as far as Pastor Stovall, they are claiming their own financial misdeeds against the Weems family. That, they're saying, was abuse of the Paycheck Protection Program, that they mismanaged those funds, used them to purchase homes. And basically, they didn't check in with the board on any of these financial transactions. They kept it all to themselves. They didn't alert them of anything that they were doing, and they continued to spend and spend and spend. Now, all of this has been rejected 
by the Weems family and said that was not the case. And even lawyers that are representing them say that they did not do anything of the such when it comes to the Paycheck Protection Program. They said what they actually did was that they tried to set up a retirement fund for people who had you know worked long within Celebration Church that were getting ready to retire. Um, and that would you know try and set them up a little bit you know, whenever they do decide to announce a retirement and move on. Uh, but again, purchasing of homes, all of this, this is what the board is saying that this, you know, Pastor Stovall and his wife are doing. They're saying that that's not the case. We've seen this sort of power struggle before. You know, when you have board of directors, board of trustees, and you get into these battles here over financial mismanagement, what this always does is it hurts the church. It hurts the people more than anything else. And we've seen it with founding pastors like you have here with Pastor Stovall uh, and others, you know, assistant pastors, whoever it may be, or just board members themselves. There always seems to be this internal struggle and the structure then starts to come down. And for whatever reason, we see this in the mega churches. More often than not, there is always something like this that's going on. Now, personally, if you look at both sides of this, I don't really know who's at fault one way or the other. Maybe it's one, maybe it's this, maybe it's a little bit of both. You know, only God knows that for sure. But I continue to see a pattern of mega churches being shaken, that God is exposing a lot, bringing a lot to the surface, and I don't see this, to be honest with you, slowing down anytime soon. As far as the shaking goes and all of this stuff coming to light, you know, we'll have to see what happens here ultimately with the lawsuit and, you know, who it gets ruled in favor of, because they're not giving that up. Like I mentioned, they're going to continue on with this lawsuit, despite the fact that Pastor Stovall is no longer going to be affiliated with Celebration Church uh, in any way at all. Um, but you know what? Again, I open it up to the people uh, to leave your comments on this. If you attend Celebration, you can give us your thoughts on this, and uh, we'll see where it turns up and uh, where it ends up going from here. Senior pastors getting ousted. I mean, this is, again, it's something that we've seen before. And by the way, not the first time in Florida. Uh, I believe Calvary Chapel, Melbourne. I did a story about that about a year ago. And uh, they're familiar with that as well. So we are in the last days here, guys. And I'm going to put the full report, by the way, in the description if you want to check it out as far as what Pastor Stovall had to say, if you want to read that. But we are in the last days, and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Let me tell you this. The best thing that you can do, despite everything that's going on right now in our world, is to make sure you are solid in your walk with Christ. And if you have never accepted Jesus into your life. Well, what I want to do right now is I like to lead you in a prayer. And this is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. Here's the first thing that you want to do right off the top. Acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from that sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he wipes that sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, and you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.